In this video, I'm gonna to react to what new Marine Corps recruits go through in boot camp. and welcome to another episode of Kabir Considers. This is the place where I react to music, media, sports, anime, anything related to popular culture. I'll watch it with an open mind and give you my 100% honest reaction to it. And if you could please hit that like button early, I'd really, really appreciate it. Now this is gonna be a really interesting video. Ever since my friend showed me the uh, TV show Band of Brothers, I've always wanted to know, you know, what do, you know, American Marine Corps, you know, recruits go through when they, you know, when they enlist? Because, you know, I hear such good things about the Marines, like I hear that, you know, they're probably one of the best fighting forces on the planet. You know, they're so well trained, so dedicated, so, you know, driven by the cause. You know, these guys must go through, you know, pretty much hell like when they're, you know, when they first enlist in the army. You know, I imagine that the training is so extensive. Obviously, they go through all the physical training, you know, the weapons training tactical awareness stuff like that so yeah this video is going to be a ton of fun to react to let's go this is going to be me reacting to what marine corps recruits go through in boot camp let's do it oh my god jeez this is Marine Corps Boot Camp in Harris Island, South Carolina. Goodness me. Shaved heads, yeah. Before they become United States Marines, all recruits have to graduate from the Marine Corps' 13-week basic training 13 program. 13 weeks, Which wow. tests them physically and psychologically. No, I feel sorry for you! It's a pressure cooker for 12 weeks. Under the wow. pressure of an intimidating drill instructor, someone that's putting you under the scrutiny of Look attention Look at that buzz cut, every you know he's day. the real deal. And to a certain degree, everything you do is never going to be good enough. Everything at boot camp sucks. It's gonna hurt, it's gonna be painful, but wow. it's only gonna hurt more if you look at it that way. Around, around, around! Wow. It's boot camp, and it's supposed to prepare you for the challenges that lie beyond. We spent five days at Paris Island, where we saw different companies at various stages of training. You will not run, you will walk in on the yellow footprints right now. You will do what you're told to do. Why you told to do it? And without question, do you understand? Yes, sir! On um, day one of boot camp, oh, that new guy. recruits arrive at the receiving barracks, where they take their first steps toward becoming Marines by walking through these silver hatches, symbolizing the threshold between the outside world wow. and Paris Island. Wow. You walk through these silver hatches once and never again, do you understand? Oh, yes, sir! Once inside, Recruits are processed and assigned to their platoons. Wow. Yes, ma'am! I know you were telling us to done with your hands down! Put it up in a butt! In a butt! 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 butt. I'm out! I'm out! Wow. After graduation, Marines commit to a minimum of four years of service. Street sir! I sir! Four years minimum. Corps, an entry level private will earn around $20,000 a year. Goodness. Yes, sir. Recruits are required to make a phone call to a family member or their recruiter to let them know they've arrived. Wow. This is Recruit Hatcher. I've arrived safely at Paris Island. Please do not send any food and bulky items. They're only allowed wow. to read the script printed for them inside the phone bank. What? I'll contact you in seven to nine days by letter with my new address. Thank you for your support. Goodbye for now. Wow. Hey, sir! Recruits are given three chances to get someone on the line. Sir, my recruit's not answering, sir. Call him again! Wow. <laughs> the way he yelled at him. Call him again! <laughs> not every recruit is able to make a connection. Oh man, what happens then? There's no answer, hang it up and close it. Alright, sir. But they won't have long to dwell on it. The Marine Corps Recruit Depot in Paris Island sits on 8,000 acres of the South Carolina Low Country. Wow. It's one of two enlisted recruit depots in the United States. The other is in San Diego, where only male recruits are trained. Around 20,000 recruits.
recruits graduate from Paris Island every year, 20, joining the more than 180,000 Marines actively serving today. We take young men and women from all walks of life, all cultures. Maybe they were rich, maybe they were poor. They've got different religious backgrounds. They are the melting pot of America. And they come here with one common goal, and that's to be a United States Marine. Paris Island, South Carolina. Here, everyday Americans become Marines. The this is some serious stuff. Male recruits have been trained at Paris Island since 1915. Female recruits began to train there in 1949. Today, females comprise under 25% of recruits at Paris Island. Happy to see it. And approximately 8% of the United States Marine Corps, the lowest percentage of any United States military branch. Yeah. I'm sure they'll grow over time. A recruit's day begins before the sun comes up. Their typical wake-up call is 0400 or 0, 4 a.m. 0400 hours. Gosh! That's early. Recruits endure an intense series of physical challenges. 4-3! Am I hearing that right? 4-3! Yes, sir! Fail! Some recruits arrive in better shape than others. Mm. Some never did anything more than sit on a couch, you know, as a couch potato. Mm. And some may have been collegiate athletes. So there's a vast spread of what their yeah. athletic fitness and ability is. Aye, sir. Much of their training happens here, in Leatherneck Square. Leatherneck where Square. A series of intimidating obstacles comprise the confidence course. Woo. Now this does not look easy. The whole entire watching you freaking fail. You failed this event. <laughs> no, just grab your canteen and go. You failed this event. Man, this is like one more try, sir. What did I just say? I sir. What did I just say? I sir. Go. I sir. <laughs> wow. The program is progressive wow. in nature. It starts out in a crawl, walk, run approach throughout training. 99.9% .9 of those that get here and complete all those requirements at the end of training, regardless of how they started. Hey, Sanchez, jump slip up. It, please, please help. Oh. I don't want to do this. I don't go. No, I'm not. Come on, man. You can do it. You can do it. Come on, believe. Any recruit with a fear of heights gets the chance to conquer that fear, courtesy of this 47 foot tall tower. Oh. Recruits must repel down using two different methods. Oh my you god. Oh. hard because I sort of had a fear of heights. Grab below my right hand with your right hand. You have to trust the rope. So there's nothing to be worried about. You'll be safe all the time. Can you please help me? I'm trying to help you. I don't want to go down. Recruits with a phobia of heights have little choice but to face their fear. One of the most dreaded parts of training is the gas chamber. Good lord. Crush, 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 crush. Where recruits are exposed to CS gas, more commonly known as tear gas. Whew. Jeez, tear gas? Once the recruits enter the chamber, they break the seals of their gas masks. You go in, you feel it, instantly hit your skin, you just feel burning. Ugh. Ah. Say something to me now! Feels like those few minutes felt like an hour. Oh my god. After around five minutes, the recruits are free. But the pain endures. Oh my god. Oh my god. Definitely you thank God for fresh air. Oh it's my god. It's really nice to be able to breathe in and not feel an instant burning sensation. Oh my god. <laughs> Gas chamber is important because it builds confidence. Confidence in the gear, confidence in the drill sweaters, and then confidence in themselves. <laughs> Goodness me. Recruits are trained in different styles of hand-to-hand -hand combat. First thing we want to see is that straight thrust, you understand? Yes, sir. Bust them, sir. Aye, sir. A key aspect of their martial arts training is fighting with pugil sticks. You killed it, I put it in your
Oof. The pugil stick techniques are intended to mirror those used in combat while using a bayonet. Here in the Marine Corps, we have a kind of a little ditty that means red is dead. Yeah! Oh, good solid so connection. Red side is supposed go on, to boys, go on, lads. The actual knife portion of the actual bayonet mounted on the weapon. So anything that you strike with that red tip, nine times of ten are either going to be incapacitated or laid to rest. Honestly, it gives them an opportunity to blow off a little steam. They have a lot of pent up aggression, especially towards maybe their drill instructors. They're out there, they're actually doing what they feel like they signed up to do, which is learn how to combat the enemy. Recruits also practice with actual bayonets. Wow, oh my god. Thank god not against each other. And engage in other types of hand to hand combat. Although male and female recruits do intersect during training, platoons are separated by gender. And although the Recruit Depot has experimented with integration before, the Marine Corps is the only military branch that separates male and female recruits during basic training. Yes, sir. Probably to prevent... Uh, According to the Corps, every pregnancies. Marine is first and foremost a rifleman. Recruits spend the bulk of two weeks devoted to marksmanship, the first of which sees few shots actually fired. First off is the fundamentals. They have to understand how to aim. They have to understand exactly how to breathe when they're taking that shot. They have to understand exactly how to squeeze the trigger and how to have follow through and recovery with a rifle. Combat operations is the foundation for every single Marine, regardless of what your occupation is. What it is to sit behind a rifle, look down that barrel, and be able to put lead on target. To put lead on target. <laughs> I like that. The Marine Corps is defined as an amphibious warfare force. Therefore, swimming plays a key role in training. If you see another recruit up there, and there's more than five, you're going away. During swim week, recruits go through numerous exercises in the pool while wearing their camouflage uniforms. But training at Paris Island isn't all physical. Recruits also spend long hours in the classroom. But what may seem like downtime Man, can man. end at the yelling. any moment <laughs> when a drill instructor decides to order an impromptu cardio session. At Paris Island, it's what's known as getting slayed. Getting slayed. It's an experience. You realize the thing you've done to get in a sand pit, and then you realize, okay, that hurt, so let's not do that again. Physically it hurts, but me personally, I never worried about the pain I was feeling in my body. It was more thinking about the mistake I made and how I need to correct it the next time. So there's going to be some chaos because when they come here, we want to tear them down a little bit and then we want to bring them back up into the mold of what it is to be a United States Marine. The Crucible. Recruit training culminates in an event known as the Crucible. <laughs> Over the course of 54 hours, with minimal sleep and food, recruits must endure realistic combat scenarios. The sounds of gunfire and shelling are played over loudspeakers mounted in the training area. Recruits are forced to work together to overcome obstacles and achieve objectives that require problem solving and strategy. This is what we saw on the second day. The recruits had become exhausted and irritable. Catch is ready! Ready! Jump it! Jump, Jump away! Oh, Just jump! Jump! You're not, you're not even jumping! I said! 
You just, you're just falling down. I said they're tired, that fatigue. You know, you go through a really rough time. You start thinking, man, like, it's hot, I'm thirsty, my arms haven't felt this bad in my whole life. We're halfway there, come on. You just keep looking at the person to the left and right, and you're like, well, he's doing it, I gotta keep going. Yeah. Like, I'm not gonna let him do it on his own. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. So there's no reason not to push. Once the crucible is complete, these recruits officially become Marines. Awesome. It must feel so good, that sense of achievement, accomplishment. The day before graduation, friends and family see their new Marines for the first time in more than three months. Wow. That level of pride, you know. Well done. Well done. families that come down for graduation day that haven't seen their son or daughter in about three months immediately notice not only a physical but an intangible difference. When they walk across that parade deck on training day 70 and they graduate, they're no longer recruits, they're Marines. Yeah. <laughs> Meanwhile, in the barracks of Lima Company. I'm talking to you. Aye, sir. All these rivers right here. Aye, sir. All that trash out. Aye, sir. Brand new recruits diligently square away their racks before being warmly welcomed by their senior drill instructor. And it begins Set again. Right. Now look at me. Our mission is to train each one of you to become a United States Marine. Discipline and spirit are the hallmarks of a Marine. We will give every effort to train you, even after some of you have given up on yourself. Starting now, you will treat me and all other Marines with the highest respect. Physical or verbal abuse by any Marine or recruit will not be tolerated. My drone sergeant and I will be with you every day. Yes. Everywhere you go, you must get 100% of yourself. I love this dude. At all times, above all else, never quit or give up. We offer you the challenge of a true trade and the opportunity to earn the title. United States Marine. Yes! Oh my god. That was so much fun to watch. I really, really, really enjoyed that. That was epic. Honestly, like these days, so many people, you know, me included, my little brother included, so many young people. We play Call of Duty, you know, we play uh, Halo, we play these military games and we think, ah, oh, you know, it can't be that hard, you know, but it really is, you know, you can't just stroll in, you know, to the army and, and be ready to go off to war potentially. You know, the training that these guys go through is legit. You know, they go through extensive, extensive training, both physical and mental to get them ready. And the sacrifices, you know, that they make a lot of the time, going away for long periods of time, not seeing your family, not seeing your friends, you know, these guys, I, I have the utmost respect for the military, you know, these guys do things so that we ordinary, you know, civilians don't have to. That was an epic video, really enjoyed it. Thanks for watching guys. If you enjoyed this video, please like, subscribe, turn on bell notifications and keep throwing the recommendations my way. I know I say it all the time, but they genuinely help me out because if I know you enjoyed watching something, I'll definitely enjoy reacting to it. So like, subscribe, turn on bell notifications, keep throwing the recommendations and I'll catch you in the next one.